Hi. Uh, today's uh, November 7th. I'm uh, surveying 2011, the aftermath of the uh, October uh, 30th snowstorm here at the UMass Cold Spring Orchard and uh, I lost 300 trees on this 10th uh, leaf super spindle planting and I'm going to show you what the varieties are and what they look like. Uh, to start, this is Honeycrisp on uh, B9 rootstock. You can see um, the uh, end post pulled out and the uh, uh, second uh, support post uh, totally broke. And then um, I have a theory that this Bud 9 rootstock is a little more brittle than M9. And if you look at these Honeycrisp um, on the ground here, you can see quite a few of these Bud 9 um, graft unions are uh, broken right off at the graft union. The tree broke right off. Versus some of them did just um, lodge over and uh, the roots, uh, graft union didn't break. Um, the roots pulled out of the ground though. So this is a total loss. We're just going to remove that. That's 30 Honeycrisp on B9 rootstock. They were nice trees. Sorry to see them go. These are uh, Macaons on M9, Nick 29. A few trees uh, remaining at the end here. Um, but uh, in general, these right up through, there's um, uh, Red Max and Red Cork Cortland. So these Macaons are on M9, and um, you know, you look at these trees, and I'm not making any scientific conclusions. I'm just looking at fact, real life. Most of these um, didn't break. They just uh, tipped over. Um, these best angle stakes, when I first put these, uh, this trellis, this support system up on this super spindle, let's see, the uh, wood posts were 60 feet apart, so I came in in here and put these um, best angle tree stakes in at uh, every, uh, another, uh, between the, the 30 trees, so every 15 trees, 30 feet, but they just bent right over. They are not, no substitute for wooden stakes when the trees get old. Um, that's for sure. So these were the Macaons on um, M9 RN29. These are uh, Red Max Macintosh on Bud 9 again. These were great little trees. I'm going to miss these too. Um, so again, the Bud 9 rootstock, I'm starting to see um, either rootstock breakage or here's a couple of uh, where the rootstock just broke. And there's one next to it where um, it didn't break, but. Again, my theory is that these Bud 9 rootstocks are a little more brittle, not quite as strong as the M9. There's another broken one um, and a couple of broken ones. So these were the Red Max Macintosh on B9. These weren't real big trees. The crop was all picked, but once the support starts to go, it just goes. These are Red Cork Cartlands on M9 Pagem 2. They were pretty good sized trees. The Pagem 2 is a vigorous rootstock. Um, there is some breakage. But it seems to me most of these trees, again, just the rootstock just um, lodged out of the ground and the tree's over. Um, there's a lot of breakage of the main roots, so there's no sense in trying to stand these back up. I'm not sure how you do it anyways. A lot of root suckers with these M9 pageant too, as you can see. And here's a best angle tree stake that just um, totally broke off. So, Red Court Cortland on M9 pageant too. Um, the end posts here did stay up and part of the rows up, but I'm just going to get rid of the whole thing. Uh, these are Cameo on Bud 9 rootstock. The beginning of the row didn't fall over and actually there's some Empires on Bud 9 which are still up. And then these Cameos on Bud 9 uh, fell over and it um, wasn't as quite, quite as much breakage with this Cameo. So it may be a little cyan dependency there. Um, I don't see too many breaks on this uh, Cameo on Bud 9. Let's see. There's a stake and these Cameo on Bud 9s. There's some B9 breakage. Go to here. And then I've got Cameo on Geneva 16. These were um, pretty good sized honkers. Geneva 16 is, is definitely a large semi dwarf. Um, you can see the characteristic um, bark uh, rootstock, uh, what do you call it, uh, chunkiness, where the uh, flakiness of the rootstock on Geneva 16. I, um, I shouldn't say too much disparaging about Geneva 16. It is, um, has lost favor from Cornell, and I think it's going to eventually be uh, phased out. But I think Geneva 16 is a little prone to breakage, too. I've had some experience with that. Um, but here, most of them uh, stayed up, although here's some, here's some Geneva 16 um, breakage, and then right next door, that didn't break. So 
it depends a little bit I guess on how well the tree was anchored maybe again that's not a scientific conclusion just uh, <laughs> just fact nothing but the facts there's another Geneva 16 you can see these were pretty good sized trees really too vigorous for the super spindle um, and then we have the post and then I've got cameo um, on M9 and I'm not sure of the strain here oh there is the sign these are uh, RN RN 29s Nick 29 cameos and um, you know no breakage um, see if that holds true completely down the row no breakage no breakage no breakage very little breakage of the m9 rootstocks compared to the bud 9 um, in particular and then the geneva 16. and finally um, not totally finally but in this row golden supreme these are actually on m9 pageum 2 and there's a breakage you can see this post didn't break but the soil is pretty wet it just um, pulled right over not deep enough in the ground over time it was probably pushed up with the with the frost um, but you know this these took out some pretty good soil chunks with them and uh, very little breakage except for that one you can see how wet the ground is here and on the right here is these gold rush that are still standing in this row that's still standing so there's row number two that's basically gone we'll go look at row number three now before I forget to tell you walking down this last super spindle row this was the result of 18 inches of heavy wet snow overnight um, Saturday and into Sunday morning October uh, 29th and 30th a really historic unprecedented snowfall um, hundreds of thousands of people without power in Connecticut Massachusetts for an extended extended period of time lots of ornamental tree damage and also um, uh, just a mess in general around so anyways these are um, Brayburn on bud 9 they stayed up and then I've got um, autumn rose Fuji on bud 9 um, and desert rose Fuji on bud 9 um, these don't seem to have broken as much as you can see most of these autumn rose Fujis are in the ground there's a best angle tree stake that's hosed um, not much breakage there there's one um, B9 that broke off. I mean, I guess it's irrelevant whether they broke or just fell over at this point in time, but it's kind of interesting. There's another B9 that broke, another B9 that broke, as well as a big post. So I guess I can't really <laughs> blame that little itsy bitsy rootstock for breaking. B9 broken, B9, these are now the desert rose Fuji. Yep. Um, broken. But, you know, again, I saw very few breaks on the M9 rootstocks. Um, and it wasn't always the graft union that broke. Sometimes the, um, the, the actual uh, rootstock broke, so to speak. There's a rootstock that just broke. Not at the graft union, but broke. There's another one. Broke. But it's irrelevant. Um, I guess the trees that if you had the wherewithal that didn't break you could probably stand back up or try to stand back up if you got to them right away and then I would mulch them heavily for the winter and they'd, they'd probably recover um, but because there's such a mishmash of broken ones in here there's no sense in trying to save this and right at the end there's some um, Granny Smith on Geneva 16. I in reality doesn't surprise me this um, came down because I knew the end post supports were uh, needed to be repaired. And the other thing I think that contributed to this is right after harvest, we probably the wires weren't terribly um, um, firm. So once the trees started to lean with all that snow, the pressure on it just took the whole rows right down. And right next door here are some uh, Buckeye Galas on M29. But um, looking, you notice down this row here, don't look at the trees that are broken over there, but there was a row right here which actually came down last fall before harvest in a windstorm. There was some um, more Buckeye Gala, some Brookfield Gala, and um, John of Gold Morin's uh, Supra, which I really liked. I miss those trees. Um, so those did come down. So once these support systems get old, they can be problematic. And it all just, um, you know, when you're building these, you have to build the strongest support system you can uh, come up with it, it I don't think you can overbuild them um, if you plan on keeping the orchard we got plenty of three four five year old orchards too and none of those were affected but I think a combination of the uh, the big canopy volume on the older trees um, they didn't have a crop on them most of them were picked if they didn't have a crop they, I'm surprised they I'm not surprised but um, I felt good they made it through harvest and then I was going to spend some time um, 
squaring things away, but don't have to worry about that now. So, um, John Clements at the UMass Cold Spring Orchard on November 7th, 2011, looking at the, uh, the apple tree damage from the uh, historic snowstorm we had, the October snowstorm. Then we won't see one of those again for a long time, I suspect. Anyway, um, it's sad, but uh, look on the bright side, less work. <laughs> okay, take care. Bye.